Greetings to you, Christmas 2020. As Eva lights the candles, we are preparing to share with you the good news of our Savior who has come to be with us, Emmanuel, God with us. This evening, for Christmas Eve 2020, you see us both with our masks, and uh, we're alone here in the sanctuary. And as Eva finishes lighting the last, the, the four candles of the Advent wreath, those candles being signs of the light coming to the world with that message, the King is coming. And now we will be with joy, sharing with you by the word of St. Luke chapter 2, and also the joyous songs of Christmas, the good message of our Savior who has come. And so, from myself and me, Eva, <laughs> we rejoice to share this good news with you of our Savior's coming. From our bubble to yours. gives you at Christmas? Do you know the historical account of the first Christmas and why the child was called Jesus? Listen. The Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 2. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. And all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. We sing the song, the carol, Joy to the World. <clears throat> Far as the curse is found, far as the curse is found. 
And in the same reason, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. We now sing the song, and you can join in. Hark the herald angels sing. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary, Joseph, and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. Now let's sing the carol, What Child Is This? What child is this who laid to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping? Who angels greet with anthem sweet while shepherds watch our keeping? Yeah. 
The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. And at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. She, she will, will bear, bear a son, son and, and you shall call his name Jesus, Jesus for he will save his people from their sins. Matthew 1, verse 21. We now conclude with the joyous song, Go, Tell It on the Mountain.
Well, Merry Christmas, Eva. Merry Christmas, Jonathan. And, and to all of you, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. And, and God, God bless, bless you, you in this new, new year, 2021. 2021. Well, a little behind the scenes, we next look forward to presenting you among the Christmas that are on our Christmas tree here. We have a great selection, and uh, we would like to share some of that with you here at Redeemer Lutheran in West Kelowna, British Columbia. Every year here at Redeemer, the Ladies Guild set up a Chrismon tree in the sanctuary, the tree behind us. What is a Chrismon tree anyway? Well, Lutheran Church Canada published information this year on their Facebook site. A chrismon tree is an evergreen tree often placed in the chancel or nave of a church during Advent and Christmas tide. The chrismon tree was first used by North American Lutherans in 1957, although the practice has spread to other Christian denominations. As with the Christmas tree, the evergreen tree itself for Christians symbolizes the eternal life Jesus Christ provides. However, the chrismon tree differs from the traditional Christmas tree in that it is decorated only with clear lights and chrismons made from white and gold material, the latter two being the liturgical colors of the Christmas season. The chrismon tree is adorned with chrismons, ancient symbols for Christ or some part of Christ's ministry. The dove descending down, fish, Celtic cross, Jerusalem cross, shepherd's crook, chalice, shell, and others. Lawrence Hall Stuckey writes that because many symbols of the chrismon tree direct our attention to the nature and ultimate work of Christ, they can be helpful in calling attention to Advent themes. Some of the LCC chrismons are 25 years old. The Synod Christmas tree tradition began in 1995, the year LCC moved into our own building. The lit up and symbolically decorated tree in the windowed lobby shone out onto Canada's Highway 1, aka Portage Avenue in Winnipeg. It was flood lit at night to draw attention of passers-by. Eva has just picked one of the chrismons that is alike to the one on the website from Lutheran Church Canada. This also has the two colors, the gold and the white, the liturgical colors for this season of uh, Christmas. This, of course, would be of the Holy Trinity, both the circles which intertwine as well as the triangle. One God in three persons. And with that in mind, uh, we'd like to share with you a little more from our tree here at Redeemer in West Kelowna. As we get closer to the tree, you can also note the white and gold theme on the sanctuary pyramids on the altar. At the top of the tree, we have a Christmas star. White and gold are the color of Christmas and Easter, here we have additional colors, as you see. The chrismons are based on themes and symbols significant of Christian faith, and the nature and character of Christ, and his life's purpose, to redeem all people. Boat symbols symbolize his church. Moses gave the Ten Commandments, which Christ fulfilled. Here, of course, we have the manger, and the IHC, as it looks, is actually... Yota, Eta, and Sigma, the first three letters of Jesus' name, Jesus, which means Savior. Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. These in particular, also the crown, describe the divinity and authority of Christ. The star that shone the way to where the child lay in the manger. Here a Cairo, those are the first two letters of the word Christ, the one anointed for the purpose of saving this world. 
the shell, and also, of course, as we saw before, the chalice, bread and wine, show the means of grace, the shell, holy baptism, the host and chalice, the body and blood of our Lord in his supper. So God not only came in the flesh that first time as a little baby to the heralding of the angels. We got a few different angels. Another one down here, facing the other way. Here is a star of David. So also these signs that Jesus is the Son of God and the nature of his whole purpose, God with us, but it was ultimately in fulfillment too. As David's son, the lineage of David, and this showed the kingship, the dominion of the Lord. And that's the amazing thing then. Here's one other one. You notice a crown of thorns with three nails that our Lord showed his wonder and glory by actually hanging upon the cross, a cross he didn't deserve, but there he hung because of our sins and need. Also a lamb, Jesus, the lamb of God. So while lambs and cattle and so forth are in some of the hymns that we sing, uh, away in a manger, the cattle are lowing and so forth. The lamb really is a symbol more of Jesus himself who would bear the sin of the world and as the lamb be slain in our place. And maybe that brings us then, well, first uh, notice also the doves, the Holy Spirit. Jesus was conceived by the Holy Spirit so he was not just born of human flesh or human will, but born of woman. He partook of divine nature, being conceived by the Holy Spirit, a miracle. That is how he is then sinless and could take our place before God and reconcile us. So finally, then, I wanted to just note, we have also some butterflies. And they, of course, are a symbol of new life, of the resurrection. And that's the wonder of the story, too, that Christ, who died on the cross in our place, also took up his life again on the third day and rose again. So... As we just go through the sanctuary, we have the baptismal font, front and center, just a reminder of the beginning, the new beginning of our lives in Christ as we are baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And, of course, at this time, also the wreath, as was lit before, with the time of our presentation, and this is all ready now for the service of Christmas Day. And so, the Lord be with you as, uh, again, we greet you in this time. God's blessings. Take care.